online dating success. It's something that, well, everyone wants, but it remains elusive for so many of us. In fact, most of us. So in this video, what I want to do is share with you the reality of who's winning at this online dating game so that you can join their ranks and become part of the community that's winning at this online dating game. Let's get started. You're not experiencing online dating success or enough of it. Congratulations. Sounds like you're in the majority of the population using online dating for which online dating isn't impossible, but it is challenging. And I'm guessing you'd prefer to join the minority of the population that's crushing online dating, right? Look, it's not like you're not trying. I'm sure you've invested time, energy, and resources into online dating, but you don't have the opportunities or the success that you desire. So what gives? Online dating doesn't distribute results equally or even to everyone. It doesn't work out like that. This isn't youth sports when you're eight years old and everyone gets a trophy for showing up. Not happening. We're talking about the real world. And in the real world, in the games of attraction, dating, and online dating, the results are not distributed equally, but they are distributed fairly. And that's going to work out in your favor. And we're going to get into that a little bit more later on in this video. The online dating game doesn't distribute results equally and instead follows the 80-20 rule, also known as the Pareto Principle. What this means is that for the population using online dating, there is a distribution of results that we can predict. There will be a 20% of the population that accounts for 80% of the opportunities and results. And then there's also going to be the other 80% of that population remaining, but it only accounts for 20% of the opportunities and results. With the application of the 80-20 rule to the online dating game, we get a better idea for the distribution of results, but there's more. What the 80-20 rule pulls out is that there exists a top 20% and a bottom 80% to this online dating population. And if you're not satisfied with your online dating experiences, chances are you're in the bottom 80% population, not where you want to be and you would rather be in the top 20. Because even if you're, say, top 30 in this online dating population, you're still not participating in that club of the top 20%. It's a very different experience. And you want to be with that top 20% that consists of the men and women considered to have the highest perceived value playing this online dating game. This is the top 20% most desired population of online dating. It's where you want to be, and it is possible. So who are the top 20% of the online dating community? Are they the most physically attractive? Well, Physical appearance does help, so that's a good head start, but that's not everything because the top 20% actually have more qualities than just looks, though that is a good head start. So they have other qualities that make them desirable, such as being able to create a well-developed online dating profile, so they know how to select the pictures, write their written content, and present themselves. They also probably do a better job of communication, so they probably know how to communicate and interact with others to get to know them and develop a connection via the chat, so they're probably good socially. They also probably know how to do a better job of assessing someone's interest over online dating and also being able to level up to, say, exchange phone numbers or get to a first meet. And they also probably better know just what to say or do in this online dating game and are less afraid to make a move. Understand, looks do matter, but aren't alone the reason for this population achieving placement in the top 20. And that's great news for you. We now understand that the online dating population can be separated and categorized by success, the top 20% and the bottom 80%. But that doesn't tell the whole story, so we can tell more with our four quadrants of the online dating population. Here we're not only going to assess this population according to success, but also according to understanding. And what that's going to allow us to see are the four quadrants of this online dating population, two of which represent and tell the story of the top 20%, and two of which represent and tell the story of the bottom 80%. So if we look at the side representing the bottom 80%, we have quadrants four and three. Looking at quadrant four, we would see immediately that they are unsuccessful. And not only are they unsuccessful, but they don't understand why. So they don't understand what they're doing wrong or how to fix it. They have a very high odds or chances of remaining in this bottom 80%. Contrast that with quadrant three, 
also unsuccessful, but has some understanding why. So maybe there is some understanding within this population for a reason why they're not succeeding. Maybe they know that they need better pictures, or maybe they know that they have a deficiency in their communication, not very good at sending opening messages or developing rapport when they're communicating. All right. Now, if we look over on the side of the top 20%, we see quadrant two. Everything on this side is successful, but in quadrant two, they're not sure why they're in this top 20% or why they're so successful. They just know that they're enjoying this experience and the opportunities and the results, but they're not understanding, they're clueless how they got there and what they're doing right. This is your target to pick off because they don't understand why they have their position, they just have it. If you're gonna pick off any position, quadrant two is your target because if you wanna get into the top 20, you want to go after a population that doesn't even know why they're there because if we look at quadrant one, well, they're successful, but they know why they're doing it. So they have a stronghold for their position because with their understanding, they can achieve repeatable, predictable success. So remember, if you want to achieve success in this online dating game, you want to get to the top 20%, but your opening is actually going to be within quadrant two, targeting the successful but not sure why. The top 20% of the online dating population is always going to be fluid. It's going to be a revolving door because people come and go with online dating and people also constantly are having their status elevated to the top 20% or being downgraded down to the bottom 80%, but it's always ever changing. And maybe you're concerned about quadrant one, that, that part of the online dating population that is achieving success and they know why. So your concern is that they can repeat it and it's predictable. Well, that population, that quadrant one, understand they're most likely to leave the online dating platform because of their success and they'll move on to the dating game. And that's great news for you because it's always opening up new positions and new positions are always being taken because People are always creating change. There are always new people coming to the online dating platforms. People are altering their approach towards their profile or pictures. There are all sorts of changes that we can make so that there's never going to be this concrete and permanent top 20% grouping. And that's reason for hope and optimism for everyone because looks aren't everything. Skill matters a lot because you can't change everything about yourself, but there are some things that you can change. And when you develop your, your skill in playing this online dating game, you really give yourself a shot to elevate yourself into this top 20% because while you might have some challenges and hiccups along the way, it's possible there are going to be openings constantly that are available to enter the top 20%. It's nice to have an abundance of options in your online dating experience, but even if you fall short of abundance, there's only one you. How many connections can you keep up with messaging and getting to know at one time? Three, five, seven, ten? The truth is most people struggle with three to connect with and actually develop that connection. All right. And the truth is how many people do you actually need to connect with to feel success? Probably just one would make your day, your week, your month your year, maybe even your lifetime. Remember that. And remember, the top 20% who are perceived as the most desirable and valuable in this online dating game, they're hogging all the winning, all right? They're hogging 80% of the opportunities and results. Understand that it's possible for you to overcome your disadvantages or your challenges, things that you feel make you not so perfect. Those are possible to combat and overcome when you develop your online dating skill. That I definitely want you to remember. You're not perfect, but what you do have is an equalizing opportunity because with the recent emergence of online dating and its acceptance, it's a game that, well, I can say that no one was raised to know how to play or with knowledge of its better strategies. So we're all kind of on a level playing field somewhat trying to figure out this game. And that means you have an opportunity if you decide to invest wisely into developing your online dating game. If you learn how to play this game and better knowledge of its strategies that work for more success, well, that's a smart investment that most people aren't even thinking about making. So be smart and take advantage. 
This video is part of a free 8-video online dating 101 playlist covering everything you need to know about how to play the online dating game. Be sure to check out the rest of the 101 playlist and then head over to thegameoflove.us and take advantage of the free resources in the 101 appendix and learn more about my online course, The Online Dating Game Strategy Guide. It builds upon your 101 foundation and teaches you better strategies so that you can win more, faster, and easier. Thanks for watching. If you appreciated the content, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And if you believe that learning about better strategies for life and love is advantageous, I invite you to join Get Game Group. Membership is free, open to men and women, offers weekly game video lessons, and a weekly mailbag for member submissions. Click the link in the description to join.